You made it all so good With a promise Did what you said you would Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Allison and I'm excited to be teaching you Sunday School this week. Before we get started, let's see what's in the Wonder Box this week. Can you guess what will be in the Wonder Box? Let's see. It's a stop sign. What does a stop sign have to do with our Bible story this week? This week we will be learning about Jacob and Esau and the, and the importance of praying before making choices. Jacob and Esau were very different in character. Esau liked to hunt and eat game. Jacob, Jacob was quieter and enjoyed home life and cooking. It is thought that Esau was, Jacob's, was Isaac's favorite son, while Rebekah favored Jacob. 
One day, Esau came in from the field very hungry and demanded food from his brother Jacob, who was making stew. So Jacob agreed to feed his brother, but he first asked for his brother's birthright in exchange. A birthright was something given to the oldest son. It gave the firstborn child the status of being the leader of the family and gave, gave him the right to the family's inheritance. Esau was very hungry, so he gave Jacob his birthright for some food. He gave up his birthright, the right of property and blessing, for a bowl of stew. This seems like a very impulsive decision. Esau wanted his immediate needs met and may have forgotten about the importance of his birthright. He may not have considered the consequences of his choice. In our society, we sometimes act like Esau. We want things right here and now. We do not always think about how our actions could affect the future. Have you ever wanted something right away and instead of waiting you acted impulsively? Sometimes we also have to make hard choices. It might be easier to make an impulsive decision that meets our immediate needs, but this story helps us to evaluate our actions and encourage us to take time to stop and think about our choices. If we take time to think, pray, and reflect before responding or deciding, we might just find the outcome is even better. wonder mats and wonder figures. As I read the Bible story, please cut out the two figures of Jacob, Jacob and Esau as young men and the picture of the twins as babies from last week and place them on the wonder mat. The baby should be at the bottom of the steps and the older Jacob and Esau should be a little higher up, like this. This week's story comes from Genesis 25, 29 through 34, and it says, Esau and Jacob continue to grow up. One day, Esau returned home from hunting. Jacob was, went, Jacob was went making lentil stew, and Esau was very hungry. Can I have some lentil stew and some bread, Jacob? Esau asked. Sure, if you trade me your birthright for some stew, Jacob said. Esau thought about this. He's, his birthright made him the leader of their family when they became grown-ups. That was several, several years away. He was hungry now. Did he really need to be the leader and get all of the family's treasures? Or did he need to eat? 
You can have my birthright, said Esau. One bowl of stew coming right up, said Jacob. Huh. I wonder why Esau gave away his birthright for a small bowl of soup. I know. Let's get out our wonder cubes and answer a few questions about today's passage. Here's mine. I wonder, if you could be any character in the Bible story, what character would you be and why? If I could be any character, I would be Esau because I would want to change the decision that he made in the Bible story. Now it's your turn. When you're done with the Wonder Cube, you will then watch the Today Celebrate Wonder video with Gabby. We'll reconvene after the video. Greetings, friends. I'm Gabby. Do you remember the twin brothers, Esau and Jacob? Well, Esau was going to get a promise from his dad, Isaac, for being the oldest son. In the time of the Bible, this was called a birthright. The promise that Esau received from his dad, Isaac, was that he would lead the family and take his dad's job when he got older. One day, Esau returned from hunting and was really hungry. His brother Jacob had made some soup and he really wanted some. So he made a quick decision to trade his entire promise from his dad for a bowl of soup. He traded something so big for something so small. but. What if Esau stopped and prayed? Instead of stopping to pray, Esau made a quick decision so he could get something he wanted right away. It's important to remember that God is always available to talk to us and help guide us to the best decisions. I really think that God would have reminded Esau of the amazing promise that he was giving up. Esau would have realized that the bowl of soup was not equal to his birthright. Last year, my parents gave me a bicycle that I've been wanting for so long. Having a bike meant I could go to my friends' houses and we could all bike to school together. One day at school, a boy in my class had the best new video game. He said I could come to his house and play if he could have my bike. In the moment, I wanted to play so bad that I traded my bike to play the game. When it was time to go home, I realized I didn't have a bike to ride home on. Friends, decisions are hard to make sometimes, and we don't always make the best choices. But when we pray and talk to God, God helps to guide us to the best decisions. Listen to what God is saying to you. I think we'll all make better decisions if we do it that way. Now it's your turn to wonder. Today's faith word is blessing. A blessing is all the things God provides. Let's wonder together. I wonder, what does the word blessing mean to you? Who was blessed in the Bible story? Does everyone deserve to be blessed? Who did the right thing in the story? Is it hard to know what the right thing to do? Is it hard to know what is the right thing to do? Why or why not? Maybe Jacob and Esau should have stopped and thought about their choices. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear God, help us to be a blessing and to share our blessings with others. Amen. Let's do an activity. I want each of you to stand up and follow me. We're going to do a movement prayer. While I teach you the motions, I want you to think about the, this question. What might have happened if Esau had stopped and prayed to God before he made such a big decision? This prayer will help you when you have a, have a difficult decision to make. First, put your hands out in front of you in a sort of stop motion, like this, and say stop. Then put your hands together as if in prayer and say pray. Next, wrap your arms around yourself as if you're giving yourself a huge hug and say, God is with me. Finally, throw your hands up to the sky and say, every day. Let's do it once more. Stop, pray, God is with me, every day. Very good. As we wrap up today with our new song, Everywhere You Go, 
Think about what big decisions you might have to make in life, just like Esau did when, with his birthright. Thank you for joining me today for Sunday School, and we'll see you next week. Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing tricks to get what I think I need, cause I Protect you.